Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at creating outline text in Illustrator. So that's converting your text into outlines. Before we start, there's a lot of misconception out there. I've seen videos that have suggested you need to create your text as outlines to be able to do cutouts. You don't. I've also seen people say you have to convert your text to outlines to be able to put a gradient across your text. You don't. So before we deal with the misconceptions, if you really do understand that you do need to convert your text to outlines, this is how you do it. Select the text, choose object, and then expand. This is one way of doing it. In the layers palette over here, you'll see that you now have a group. So this is the group and it contains individual characters. If you want to get them out of the group, of course, you can choose object ungroup. In this way, you could conceivably select over an object and you could then adjust some of the hands Handles. You can adjust the handles, you can remove them, you can resize individual characters, you can bend them out of shape, you can do anything. Now the typical reason that people want to convert text to outlines is because they've been told they have to do it probably by a print shop. And that makes good sense because if your printer doesn't have the same fonts as you've got, when they open your document, they're not going to be able to see it as you see it. And so it's not going to print correctly. So quite often they will say, convert your type to outlines before you send it to print shop. That's a valid reason. These are the not valid reasons. But let's just wind this back. I just want to get back to my text because there's a second way of creating it as outlines. With the text selected, you're going to choose type and then create outlines. Now, if we have a look in the layers palette, exactly the same things happen. It's been converted to individual characters. It's in a group. You choose object ungroup if you want to ungroup it. So we've dealt with how you do it. Now let's have a look at why you don't need to do it in a lot of cases that you may have been incorrectly told that you do. And one of those is cut up. So let's have a look at this. I'm just going to place a black box over the top of this text. Now, if you want to create a cut out text effect using the text in this black box and you go to the Pathfinder palette and click this option, which is exclude, which typically would do that, it's not working. And most people sort of pack their bags and go home at this point and go, oh, well, it doesn't work. So that's obviously not how I do it. I need to convert my text to outlines. Not true. You need to hold the Alt or Option key as you click on this option. And now you get the cutout effect that you want. But you get the cutout effect that you want, but you have a benefit here in that you still have editable type. This is is still editable type. So you can go in here with the type tool. You just want to be really careful as to where you click because it's really easy to add a new line of type by mistake. So you might need to sort of work around here and just work out that you're in the right place when you go to create your effect. So I'm going to try and get in the right place for my text. This is the right place. You can see that I've got an indicator here and that I have just the text object here. I don't have additional text objects. That's what you're looking for. You might need to undo it a couple of times before you get the right thing. But this is now editable text. I can change the text. I can do whatever I like to it. I can also edit this rectangle here. So I'm going to go and select this rectangle and I can move it. So I can change where the cutout effect applies. And that's all done just using the Pathfinder palette, but knowing that you have to Alt or Option click on this Exclude option to get that effect. Now the other misconception is gradient. So here we have a text object created. And when we try to apply a gradient to it, it doesn't work. So let's go back to just a solid color. Let's open up the appearance panel. With our text selected, we're going to double click on characters. And here is the fill. And when we try and fill it with a gradient, it just does not work. So what we're going to do is just turn off this fill entirely. So we've removed the fill from this object. Now we'll go back to type where it says no appearance. We can't see our type, but we can see the underline. So we know there's something there, we're just not seeing it. Well, let's go and add a new fill. So I'm going to click here on add a new fill. And this fill, this fill over the type object rather than over the characters, can contain a gradient. So let's just drop this down and let's put our gradient over our text. Now our gradient is editable here through the gradient panel. It's a linear gradient. I'm just going to turn it around so it points in a different direction. 
So you see that it is possible to create cutout effects with live text. It's also possible to create gradients on live text. You just need to know how to do it. But if you absolutely need to convert your text to outlines, you also know how to do that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click to subscribe, turn notifications on. We'll let you know when there are new videos released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.